an old school fun look. Yo, 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 what it do, what it do, man? It's the big homie DP. I'm sorry, Dinky Jones, right here on the Power 101 station. Yeah, dog. But anyway, man, right now, man, we got artists of the week, and right now we got my <laughs> man, Bobby Yo, Da Vinci. What's good? What it do, man? Sandy. Everything good? Oh, yeah. Okay, bro, Chienka, man, like I said, we fooling with your music. Okay. I can't say the other word, so I had to say, you know, fooling. Oh, yeah. But anyway, man, right now we got a few questions for you right here on the live interview that we doing, you know, weekly. Well, uh, you know, we're bringing uh, artists in, to, you know, to keep the thing going. The old vibe that it used to be where artists had a chance to, you know, get their music exposed. And you see what I'm saying? Where people can hear it, you know. So, you know, we thought it was a good idea to bring it back. So we're doing that, you feel okay. me? So, uh, like I said, I got a few questions for you right now. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, uh, how you got started doing music. Uh, I probably started around 2006. <clears throat> My father went out to uh, Texas and started a car, and he came back and put me on a little Fruity Loops thing. We started making beats and just really started rapping there. Okay, okay, <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Okay. Um, who would you say your biggest influence is in music right now? Who would you say you listen to? Uh, right now, who influence you. Who is a few? Who I influence you? Influence? Yeah. I like J. Cole, bro. Like J. Cole? J. Cole, uh, Absol. I like what Migos put out, too. They put out this one. Migos, okay, yeah, yeah. They do good, they do good music. Um, let me ask you this question. Uh, like I say, everybody be different. You know, if you had to pick, you know, three artists, dead or alive, that you would want to collab with, who would you say you would, you know, collab mm -hmm. with? I'm going to say one. A lot of people probably don't know, but... Uh, uh, back in the gap, it would have been probably uh, Jermaine Harris, Pina, AKA. Okay. okay. Um, he said dead or alive. Dead or alive. Anybody. Anybody. Of course, you got those pocket now. Okay. Oh, yeah, those pocket now. And probably the boost. Probably the boost. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, do you come from a musical family? Do anybody in your family do nah, play the instrument? My, 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 my pops the same. You know what I'm saying? My boss was saying, I, I miss that. Like, that, that skilled me completely. But, uh, <laughs> I had to stick to rapping. But uh, I come from a uh, background where, like, all my people, like, that was our thing, like, blues. Blues. Like, big on okay. blues. And when I was on hip hop plays around, but, like, uh, I got into hip hop here. Okay. Where you from? I'm from Summerall. Summerall. Okay. Summerall, Mississippi. Okay. Um, what type of music would you say you make? If they ask, okay, what's your genre? Or, or what type of flavor you bring? What 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 type of music would you tell me you make? My music had like I usually use I usually use like a probably a update new school type of beat. Mm -hmm. My flow is kind of like the the early to late nineties flow. Like I'm really into like the the whole concept of making music and having a substance behind it. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because like I said, man, we, you know, trying to get the music out there and trying to, you know, do different types of music. Everybody got their own thing. And, you know, we naturally want to be different from everybody else. Some people got their music where they want to copy what's popping for the moment. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. But right. I feel like, man, what really, what real, if you can come up with your own, your own lane or you can be in your own lane, that's what I, you know, that's what yeah, I, I, I can, you see know what I'm saying? What you do. People yeah. love you for what they love you for. Exactly, exactly. Um, um. Is, your, is the music you make, uh, is it based off of stuff you go through in your everyday life? Everyday life, everyday. past life. <clears throat> um, you know, my stuff got a lot of it. I ain't gonna say a lot of emotion, but yeah, a lot of emotion. A lot of stuff we deal with, have dealt with situations, you know, where we grew up at, how we grew up. You know, that's what we lack in, in today's music. You know, we don't have the deep music. Right. We don't get the, the music that hit a person in their soul, right. give them that good feeling. You know, it's, it's a good, it's, 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 it's a good feeling for that moment. For that moment, you yeah. know what I'm saying? We don't, we, we lacking that, we slacking that for, for today's day, you right. know, type of music. Uh, so, like I say, you know, I checked it out, you know, I thought it was hot, you know, so. Okay. And when I said it led from there, uh, how long you been rapping? Like I said, it's about 2006. 2006. Actually, it's just going in heavy. It's about 2010. We just playing around for like 2006. 2006. Playing around. By 2010, I took a series. I went about this mic. Learned how to mix myself. Yeah. Started really just working. You know, just, I've been growing since then. 
So I think you were saying something earlier about you mixing your mouth on your own. You yeah, mixing mix your own, own yeah. mix your own music. Yeah. You know, I feel like hey, that cut down on a lot of costs. That cut oh, yeah. down on a lot of time. Yeah. And when you can sit there in your own stuff, your own setup, and you can mix right. and find your tracks and go and get at it, that's the most creative moment because right. you can do when you feel like and you and you know how you, you want know. yourself to sound. So exactly. You can do exactly how you want it to be. Exactly. Um, so uh, this track right here, what's the name of this track? It's gonna be Rambling Part Two. Rambling Part Two. Okay. Uh, we are gonna get this track a shot. We wanna check it out. So uh, we'll let you in introduce this track. Yeah, it's your boy Fabio the Vinci coming live from 101.1. And this is my new track, Rambling Part 2, you heard here first. Okay, check it out here on 101. Two, Rambler Part Two. Y'all call and let me know what y'all think about that track right there. Six zero one nine zero nine two seven one one. But y'all hit us up on face Facebook or the website uh, www.power101.com. So my man, like to say, man, that's uh, when you do that track. Like how long been since you, you know? Ooh, I did this uh, last year. I was finishing up. I was finishing up my last project. It was called FAD mm -hmm. and for demo. And uh, I did that right after I released that. So it's been. Last year, you know. Okay. It's a nice, I mean, I, my honest opinion, like I say, I feel like this is a nice good joint. You know, could be pump, uh, pumping in the club, you know what I'm saying? Get the, got the speed, get the vibe up on it, got the nice little bounce beat on it, you know what I'm saying? You know, so I, I mean, I, I rock with it. Um, uh, do you produce? Mm, when I was producing, I ain't, I ain't producing in a while, though. I ain't did nothing in a while. Okay. Uh, you sign with anybody? Any uh, I actually started my own. In the uh, natural entertainment. That's what, okay. What what you say it is? Natural entertainment. Natural entertainment. Okay. okay. Um. 
What would you say the most difficult part of this business is for you? You know, as far as doing the music or whatever. What would you say that's difficult about Me, it? Uh, probably the promotion, promotion and uh, marketing aspect of it. The marketing aspect at the time. So you basically you working your music on your own, right? I'm working mm -hmm. on my own. You know, I mean, really, you really just gotta get out there and really move from different places. You know, what I'm saying go state to state, really, really get out there. Okay, for real. Um, you got a fan base? You been working on? I've been working on, huh? Working on. Ain't say been working on. It's hard to get these locals. Though. It's hard, hard to get these locals. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, hard, but it can't be done. Yeah. You know. Um. Um. You got any projects we look uh, we could be looking forward to? And the albums comes up and the mixtapes, anything. What what you got? What you got on this way? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, I just I just dropped then your uh, I just dropped Lights Paradox January twelfth. Mm -hmm. It's on that field. Okay. And, uh, did pretty good down low wise. You know what I mean? I just dropped that when I'm working on a new album for a mixtape with my cousin. It's gonna be called Black Ops. It's called Black Ops. Black Ops. Black Out. Black Out. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, when can we look forward to that? Probably uh, mid to late February this month. Okay. Doing the shows? Huh? Doing the shows? Uh, it's been it's been a while. We rocked one probably about 2012. I'm gonna say the last time we did one, we turned it out. But turned it out, huh? <laughs> we all say we all we all swung. Miles swung. Okay. Well, they got a club or something out there. Yeah, they had a they had a club club out there and uh, they had a. Uh, Somebody that was big at the time he showed up. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we kind of turned it out before we got a chance to. Okay, <laughs> rock it, huh? Oh yeah. Um, I mean, for everybody that's, lis that's listening tonight, uh, that got questions about you, or whatever, you know, and, and can give you feedback on your music without calling in. What would you, t what would, you, where would you tell them to, you know, follow you or find you? You can find me on Facebook, uh, backslash Fabio Da Vinci. Uh, Twitter, same thing, backslash Fabio Da Vinci. Instagram, I got all, everything that's really out right now. I got it. It's gonna be backslash Fabio You know Instagram you said? Yes. Okay, Instagram. Okay. Uh, well, people, it's the one on one station with the late night show with Dinkin Jones. Y'all call in 601-909-2711. Let me know what you think about that joint right there. Rambling Part Two by my man Fabio Da Vinci. Don't forget to hit us up on the website, www.power101.com. Here on the Power Station. Yep, yep.